Okay, students, in this video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions from the binomial probability uh, distribution chapter using static crunch. You're going to find it very, very convenient and very easy. In the first section in the uh, probability distribution chapter, uh, you will have a probability distribution just like what you're seeing on the left the number of successes x values the probabilities and then you are asked to find the mean the expected value and the standard deviation of the probability distribution here is how you do this in stat uh, crunch there is a formula you could use the mean equals sum of x px and then take the the value of x which is 0 times the corresponding probability 0 0.20 plus 1 times 0 0.24 plus 2 and so on and so forth and then there is a formula for the standard deviation which is a little bit more complicated than the previous one you don't need to use those formulas let me show you how to use static crunch open static crunch go to staticrunch.com log in user using your my stat lab username and password and then in variable one, enter the values of x. In variable two, enters the values of p of x. Then go to stat, calculator, custom. Our values are in variable one, choose variable one. The weights, which are the frequency, the probabilities are in variable two. That's the important part and hit compute. And here you go, we're done. The mean is 1.68, it's already there. So if I do the math here, it's going to be 1.68. And the standard deviation is 1.207. What is the expected value? The expected value is the same as the mean, which is 1.68. Let's say you want to answer a question, for example, what's the probability of x less than or equal to 2? Probability of x less than or equal to 2 means 2 or 1 or 0. So actually, if you add the 0 0.34 and the 0 0.24 and the 0 0.20, you should get the answer. Well, it's already done for you, 0 0.78. You can change the inequalities. Let's say more than 2. What do we have more than 2 here? We have a 3 and 4 only. Well, look, 3 is 0 0.12 and 4 is 0 0.10. If you add them, you get 0 0.22. You already have the answer. So it's a very uh, good uh, calculator. So if you want to find the mean and the standard deviation of a probability distribution given in a table, you have to go to the custom calculator and do it this way. How do you answer this question using your own calculator, the TI-84+. plus? Here's how you do it. You're going to go to stat, edit, and enter the value of x in L1 and the value of p of x in L2. Then you're going to go to stat, calc one variable statistic if you get this screen here's what you have to make sure of your x values are in l1 and the frequency list you have to change it now to l2 because these are the probabilities so second and number two you press the second key and number two and then calculate and here you go you get 1.68 you see the answer matches right there and then the standard deviation is 1.2073. Uh, so this is how you do this using your uh, calculator. Now, if you have an older calculator and you don't get the screen that we got right here, let me show you again. So, uh, stat, calc. If you press one variable statistics, you don't get this screen, but you just get one var stats you just get this you open parentheses uh, uh, no you don't open parentheses you just put you press the second and then number one l1 comma you put a comma and then you put l2 and that should give you the same results now for the second section of the binomial probability distribution chapter i'm going to show you how to use a static crunch to find binomial uh, probabilities. I've already provided videos on how to use the calculator, but if you find it convenient to use stat crunch, feel free to do so, and it's gonna be a lot easier even than using the calculator. So here's what you do. You log into StatCrunch uh, using your MyStatLab username and password, 
and then you go to calculators and then you go to binomial calculator right here there you go this is where we're going to have all the answers to this question on the left it's a very comprehensive question that will touch on every single question that you can get in the second section of the binomial probability chapter first of all you have to enter the number of uh, trials which in this problem it says 10 so we're just going to put a 10 and the probability of success it says 65 percent of men consider themselves knowledgeable soccer fans if 10 men are randomly selected so we're going to put 0 0.65 there that's all and now we we'll start answering the questions uh, now the first question what is the probability that exactly three of them exactly means the equal sign so i'm just going to change this to a equal sign and when i put a three and then hit compute and here you go you got the answer which is 0 0.0212 all right so the first one is zero two so next the probability of x equals 3 uh, you type in the answer 0 0.0212 i cannot annotate on this pdf file so i'm not going to be able to write the answers b find the probability that exactly six of them will consider themselves knowledgeable fans watch you just change the three to six and hit compute and here you go you got the answer that's the probability of x equals six which is 0 0.2377 if you round to four decimal places C, find the probability that at most, at most you need to know it means less than or equal to. So you just put the less than or equal to three. At most the three means zero or one or two or three. And hit equal, you're gonna get the answer which is 0 0.0260. Uh, let's go to the next one. Find the probability that more than five more than five look what you do here more than five change the three to a five you notice we don't change nmp they're fixed and it is 0 0.75149 not only it will give you the answer but it will sketch the answer more than five means six or more this is the probability of getting a six this is a probability of getting a seven an eight a nine and a ten and what the calculator does You'll find the probability of each and then add them up for you. You don't have to do any work uh, yourself. Find the probability, now part E. Find the probability that less than seven of them consider themselves knowledgeable fans. Less than seven, guys, It's this is the sign less and just change it to seven. And when you hit compute, it's going to show you, it's going to draw six and less for you because less than seven means six and less. Hit compute. And here you go you get the answer uh, the last question find the mean of the uh, binomial distribution the calculator doesn't do uh, this for you but it's very easy there's a formula for the mean so for the mean of the binomial distribution just take n which is 10 and multiply it by 0. Point, what was the uh, probability of success 0 0.65 so the answer should be 6.5 for the standard deviation as you can see it's a square root of npq so you will do the square root of 10 times 0 0.65 what is the q q is the probability of failure so if probability of success is 0 0.65 q will be 0 0.35 and this is how you can use a static range to find binomial probabilities. Feel free uh, to use it if that's more convenient for you.